going on guys? Good morning, it's CJR here, back with another garage sale video. Uh, the season has officially started here in Ontario, Canada, where I'm from. Uh, there are five or six community slash town-wide garage sales listed this weekend. Um, it's a little unfortunate that they, they all seem to, a lot of them seem to do them on this weekend in May. Uh, it just kind of stinks because you can only get to so many sales at once and having them all in the same weekend um, you, you, you tend to miss more stuff because you can't obviously be everywhere. So, um, uh, huge positive though, there'll be lots of sales today. I, I've already seen just getting on the highway here. Right now I'm on my way to a small town called Plattsville, Ontario. I actually hit Plattsville last year, um, but I decided that I'm gonna give it another shot just cause I kinda like the demographic that was there. I did pretty well and uh, there was a lot of houses that had sales, so I'm gonna give that a shot. Uh, it's actually a bit of a gamble. I could go out here and, and potentially find nothing. Um, so I am taking a bit of a risk, uh, only because it's so far away from the city, and uh, if I end up not doing well out here, I've gotta make it back to the city as soon as possible. Um, <coughs> it's 6.22 a.m., so, uh, I like to hit this town-wide sale really early because it's kind of like a farming community and they tend to be up super early and start their sales by like 7, so I'm hoping that getting there early I'll be able to hit some sales by 7 and maybe even leave there by 8 o'clock and then head to another area. Uh, I always say that if you can hit, you know, 5, 10 sales before 8 a.m., I kind of call those bonus sales. If you can get five or 10 in before it's even eight o'clock when, when most of the sales even start, then you're doing really well. Forgot to mention, Andrew's back there. Andrew, can you wave? I'm not sure if they can see you. There's his head. <laughs> Andrew's back there behind me. I'm trying a new camera angle here. I've got my, um, my good Sony camera hooked up, kind of uh, suction mounted onto the windshield and um, seems to be working pretty well. So anyways, guys, uh, we'll see what we can find today. Should hopefully be a pretty decent day. You know if the uh, the DS still works there? This DS? Yeah. Looks like it's open. Uh, sure. This DS works still, right? It does. You need to plug it in. It's what good. what do you want on the Wii stuff here? A single game? Uh, just for everything. Um. And I don't really need one, but I'm looking for my an extra system for my so kids. So downstairs in the coffee table, there's still some more games or anything. These were just my games in the box. Right. No, you're, you're what about different. anything older? Any old Nintendo stuff? Game Boy? This is, uh, no. That's the oldest that we have. Okay. Is okay, so it's um, now 7 a.m. We are actually leaving that uh, town-wide garage. So we hit about 10 sales. Um, at two of the sales, I had somebody say, actually at three of the ten, somebody said somebody's already been here asking. We got there at six. kilometers on Albert Street East. We got there around uh, 6.40 and uh, there had already been people there asking. Um, so I, I just didn't want to deal with that and I was already apprehensive about going there in the first place because I cleaned that place out last year. I did see a lady selling some Wii and uh, DS stuff, all completely crap games and she wanted like 60 for the DS and 100 and something for the Wii so um, yeah no thanks on that so we're heading back into town it's we, we're gonna waste a good 20 minutes getting back into town to the next location on my uh, on my little map here but I don't really have a choice so I think what I'm gonna do is avoid the community sales and try and hit everything else in the city most of these community sales I've, I've I've hit over the years multiple times, so actually finding anything is uh, is kind of slim chances. I, I feel like um, at this point. So if those uh, town wide sales can distract people and keep them tied up there, like the people who are in there will be there for an a, a couple hours probably. Um, hopefully freeing up all the other loose sales around the city.
Any other video game stuff inside? Uh, I'll put Lady Lee right there. We got heating stuff in Hi. Hi. I'm looking for video game stuff. Anything else? I don't I'm have it on me. Looking for like Nintendo, out. Super Nintendo, N64, that kind of you know stuff. What? I don't think I. Whatever's in here, I think is all that I've got. <clears throat> I didn't take them out yet. Okay, so it's now 9.15. Hasn't been a good day at all. Um, it's been really bad. Probably one of the worst on memory for me. Uh, I haven't really found much at all. Um, but Andrew, Jamo911, my main competition in this area, just found, it's got to be hands down the greatest garage sale find of all time. He just found a box of sealed Turbo Graphics games, and it's there's some good stuff in there. So I'll leave a link to Jamo911's channel below and uh, go check him out. Hopefully he'll have the uh, pickup video up soon and, and you can see what he got. Pretty amazing. Uh, I've found a few things. Andrew, you want to hold up some of those toys? I found a bunch of uh, He-Man toys for the boys, a bunch of Lego minifigures. Can you see that back there? I don't know if they can see it. Uh, one album, The Temptations, that was 50 cents. And uh, at the last sale I was at, a lady had a bag full of games just kind of thrown in there. And I found two games, Thrasher and uh, Final Fantasy VII. All right, just scored at that sale right back there. I uh, picked up a couple 360 games. I, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but it's been such a slow day. And uh, they were decent titles, and they were cheap enough. Uh, we got Fallout 3 game of the year, Borderlands, Borderlands 2, and uh, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, and then I also picked up a skateboard for Andrew. I don't know. It looks like it's, it's in good shape, but it looks like it's just like a, a Toys R Us or maybe Walmart Tony Hawk board. He's uh, not quite at the age uh, for skateboarding yet, but um, in the next couple of years, so I thought I'd grab it. 15 bucks for all that stuff, not a bad deal. Uh, it's been really slow. They said, uh, she went inside and said she had an N64, and of course she came back out and said she couldn't find it, so I gave her my number, and uh, I expect to never hear from her again, so. Rough, rough day. Probably in like a CD holder or something. I'd be interested in these if, if you can figure out where they are. I'm, I'm actually just down the street. Yeah. If I, can I leave my number? Yeah. And if you find them, I'll come. Sure. I'll grab them. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to have any of the other video game yeah. stuff, would you? For we? Uh, I'm actually looking for like Game Boys, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, no. N64. All right, guys, uh, just found a little something. I keep on forgetting to film at the sale. Um, I asked if they had video games. Uh, right away got shot down. I did my spiel where I keep listing. Um, and I asked the dad, and uh, he was about, he went to get a pad of paper to take my number. And then I saw one of the sons, so I asked him again. That's a good thing to do, because the dads don't know usually. And um, the son's like, yeah, I got an Xbox inside. So we brought out a big box of Xbox games. Decent titles, nothing I needed though. And uh, I'm not buying Xbox games unless I really need them this year. Um, so then as I'm leaving, he's just kind of digging around the garage and he pulls out two N64 games. Uh, Donkey Kong 64 and Quake 2. Focus. 
I don't think I have Quake 2, so uh, I had to pay seven bucks for them, but uh, I wanted to give them a decent amount so they'd be more willing to call back. He did mention that he had more N64 stuff. Um, so hopefully he'll, uh, I tried to encourage him to dig around the garage and I said I'd be in the area for the next little while. So hopefully he'll, he'll look for him. But as always, chances are I'll never hear back from him. He's old. Are those the only two games you have? Um, I, yeah, I gotta go look. I got the, okay. the gun. Okay guys, at uh, this unassuming sale right there, you can see all baby stuff outside. Funny how things work out. This is just down the street from my house. It's been a really bad day. Um, bunch of baby stuff and I'm like, I'll just still get to pull over and ask. And the first thing I listed was Nintendo and she said, yeah, I've got an old Nintendo. I don't think I really want to part with it even though it's not working right now is what she said. Um, so I said, you know, would you be willing to just bring it out and then maybe I can at least make you an offer and then you can decide from there. Um, once you get them out of the house, it's usually uh, a good a good sign if you can get them to bring them out. They're very rarely going to take them back in. So she brought it out, uh, basically a big box of stuff here. Um, Nintendo, a couple games, a uh, Sega Genesis. Um, then I asked what she wanted for it and um, she said, how about 30 bucks? And I said, I was thinking 20. She said, that's fine. So I handed her the 20 and left. So that kind of just saved my day. That turned it into, uh, from being a pretty bad day into a good day. So it's funny how that works out. Uh, literally just down the street from my house, on my way home right now and just kind of stopping at whatever sales I see on the way. Um, yeah, so a nice find there. I'll show you guys what I got when I get back home. And uh, yeah. All right, hey, what's going on guys? CJR here, we're back at the house, going through all of today's pickups. Um, if you haven't already, I highly stress you go check out uh, Andrew Jamo and I'm on One's channel. I'll post a link in the description below. Um, he found a box full of sealed Turbo Graphics games today. Uh, I was about, I think, two minutes away from where he was. Uh, I'm glad he got it because uh, it probably wouldn't have been there much longer. Somebody else would have scooped it up. Um, go check out his channel to see what he got. I think there was over 35 sealed mint condition Turbo Graphics games. I am still in shock uh, that he was able to find that. We don't have Turbo Graphics stuff up here like at all. I made one Turbo Graphics find and I just I thought that I would never see any again up here. Um, so I have no idea where they came from. Um, he'll tell the story on his channel. Go check it out. I highly, highly suggest you check it out. Uh, anyways, this is the stuff I found for the day. Um, Ended up being an okay day. Uh, it actually, it ended up being a good day. I got one last score there at the end of the day that uh, um, turns it in from a okay day into a good day. So um, I guess, where am I gonna start here? Uh, I picked up a bunch of toys for Andrew. Um, just a big bag full of stuff. These are a bunch of He-Man figures here. Um, we've got Battle Cat and Skeletor. Uh, so pretty cool. Picked up those, a big bag. There was some GI Joes, some Simpsons toys, and then two LCD games, which I'm happy to have, the Ninja Turtles one. Didn't have either of these. And then this crazy monstrosity afterburner, huge, huge hunk of plastic. It's got a stick here. Battery's actually still on it and it works great. Uh, kind of cool. Um, so 10 bucks for all that stuff, decent deal. Um, the, the boys love getting stuff. I also picked up a skateboard for Andrew. Um, 
and a big, two big bags full of uh, Lego minifigures for a quarter each. And there's probably 50 figures in there. So that was a great deal. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, at the sale that I got the skateboard from, I picked up four Xbox 360 games. We've got Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, Game of the Year, Borderlands 2, and the original Borderlands. Picked up those four and the skateboard for 15 bucks. Uh, decent deal. Um, I just it was a it was slim pickings at that point, so I felt like I needed to grab something uh, for trade. Or uh, I think I actually need the I think I need Borderlands Two. It was so I picked that up in the skateboard for fifteen bucks. Um, as I said, I went to a sale, asked if they had games. Uh, they mentioned uh, Xbox stuff. Didn't really see anything I wanted, but the boy came. The boy, the guy's son came out. He's probably twenty five with two N64 games. Quake 2, which I'm ecstatic to find. I actually needed this for the collection. That puts me at around 200 N64 games. So, um, you know, I'm more excited to find this uh, than my what would be considered my best find of the day because this is something that I actually really needed. So, uh, Donkey Kong Country 64, or Donkey Kong 64, sorry. Uh, he wanted five each. I got him down to seven bucks for the two. Pretty good deal there. Uh, just one stray PS2 game, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Didn't have that, adding that to the collection. Uh, went to a sale, lady had a big uh, garbage bag full of CDs and stuff. And I saw, I think I mentioned this, but I saw a Crash Bay. I saw the green uh, Greatest Hits label. Uh, it was a Crash Bandicoot, but it was just the case, no disc. Uh, these were in really rough shape. Uh, I cleaned them up and they look, they look okay now. I got Thrasher, Skate and Destroy, a Rockstar skateboarding game. Really good one, need that for the collection. And Final Fantasy VII Black Label, missing disc one. Other than that, it's actually in good shape. Cleaned up pretty well, except I missed, that's the, whatever that is. Oh, I can't believe I just touched that. So for $2, I thought it was worth picking up. I have to look around, I think I actually might have some loose discs. Gotta see if I have that. Uh, okay, so we are on, um, so the last score of the day was uh, just down the street from my house. And uh, as I showed in the video, uh, never judge a sale by its, I don't know, driveway. It was nothing but baby stuff. I came up to the sale, nobody was there. I just kind of hung around for a minute waiting for someone to come out just so I could have the opportunity to ask. Most people would have just seen nobody there, looked around and I almost did just leave. Um, somebody finally came out and I did my, I asked if they had any video games and went through my spiel listing games. And uh, she said, yes, I have, a, I have an old Nintendo. I don't know if I want to sell it and I couldn't get it to work. So I said, uh, would you bring it out? I could take a look at it, maybe make you an offer. Then you can decide if you want to sell it or not. Uh, she brought it out and it was so f at the beginning, it was a system. Um, Mario Duck Hunt Turtles arcade game. And then I looked inside and inside was probably the best game of the bunch. Ghosts and Goblins or yeah, Ghosts and Goblins. I always get it mixed up with ghouls and ghosts. That was inside the system. Um, and then she went back to look for the controllers, came out with two controllers, the gun, power adapter, a torn up RF adapter. I was hoping that that would be the issue, but uh, I tested it and it, it's not. I have to fix the pins or replace them. Um, and in that box when she brought the controllers was a Model 2 Sega Genesis with uh, one controller. It's got the rattle going on, but it does work. And then a third party controller, which I threw in the garbage. It was pretty beat up. Um, came with a power adapter. And uh, I always have, I bought a bunch of these spare um, composite cables from AliExpress uh, AV. So you don't have to use the RF. I think they were $3 each. So I'll add that in with the system. The system works flawlessly, it works perfectly. So um, I think, I, so I asked her what she wanted and she said 30, I came back at 20. And I think she took 20. I don't think we settled at 25 from what I remember. It's a couple of days later now. So um, from what I remember, I think, yeah, 20 bucks. I offered 20, I said, she said 30 and I said, how about 20 and, and she took it. Um, I don't, I think I had $20 and change left. That's why I uh, offered that. But um, that is it for the video games. Just some real quick vinyl pickups here, some good stuff. Um, the, the Temptations, Wish It Would Rain. Uh, good one here. Don't want to screw these up. People call me out. Uh, Rush Permanent Waves. Love, love Rush. Uh, people, it's funny. People called me out on the uh, my um, vinyl collection video 
for for saying the wrong names of some of the albums. I'm a I'm the last twenty years I've spent downloading music, uh, so I don't I'm I don't know album covers. I know album. Um, I know which albums I like. I just so I have to actually check the spines a lot of times because I'm not familiar with album covers. So uh, this is Queen Jazz. This is one I didn't have in my collection. Really happy to find that one. Very nice. I don't think I had. I didn't. I don't think I have the Rush. I know I didn't have the Temptations either. Uh, really nice find here. This is Alva, Elvis Costello and the Attractions Armed Forces. Really happy to have that. Um, cheap Trick at uh, Baruchin. I don't think I have that. I pick them up if I don't think I have them and then I give the doubles. My niece has gotten into vinyl and I got a couple buddies too. Another nice Queen album, uh, News of the World. Didn't have that one either. Really nice to find stuff I need. Uh, Fine Young Cannibals. And another fantastic pickup here. Aftermath, uh, The Rolling Stones. Paint It Black, uh, Under My Thumb. Um, anyways, that's it for today's garage sale pickups. Um, as always, you can see me live today at uh, 1 p.m. on Twitch Saturday. If, today's Saturday. if you're watching this on Saturday morning or Saturday, I am live on Twitch today at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Every Saturday I'm going to be live on Twitch at 1 p.m. Eastern Time going through my finds, uh, going through the stuff that I find th that day. So this stuff I actually showed off last Saturday when I got home from garage selling and the people on the stream saw this. We almost hit 100 viewers in the stream, so that's pretty good. If we hit 100 viewers this week, I'll be giving away one of the games that I find today. Um, I'll go through and I'll, I'll give you guys a couple options. Whoever wins uh, can pick the game and I'll mail it out to you. So um, check out the link to Twitch in the description below. Go check out Andrew's video now, um, Jamo911, and see the ridiculous sealed Turbo Graphics uh, lot he found. I'm pretty jealous of that. There's a couple thousand dollars worth of games there. So um, go see what he got and what he paid for. It's 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 mind blowing. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you on Twitch at 1 p.m. And uh, do me a huge favor. If you enjoy the video, just hit the like button for me. And until uh, the next episode.